Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, building experiences that connect, remove friction, and deliver insights. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is my Sage colleague, Yelena Saranovich. Throughout her career, Yelena has tested all sorts of professional waters, working in academia, the NGO sector, startup, and a consulting company before landing in the corporate world. As a business innovation coach, now shaping Sage's Sage Innovation Academy, she considers herself a perfect sidekick for any project that aims to inspire, engage, or provide hands-on support when it comes to embracing the innovation mindset. She's a firm believer in testing business ideas and an advocate for adopting the startup mindset in doing business. And don't get her started on film noir. She could talk for hours. Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, Yelena. Hey, Ed, thank you so much for having me. Well, first off, Yelena, why do you do what you do? Well, I'd, I'd say I simply enjoy the process of learning and unlearning. Um, when I was in school, I thought studying is what you need to do in order to develop yourself. But later on, I realized that's that's not really it. Like studying is just a process or a habit, something you can be good at or bad at. Whereas learning means you're actually acquiring some some knowledge, you're gaining a skill, you're experiencing something new, um, you're finding your own growth opportunities. So I guess that will be it. And tell me about this thing you have in your bio, the Sage Innovation Academy. Uh, well, uh, that's uh, that's a great little story. So uh, as a business innovation coach, I had um, I've got a chance actually to help shape this learning experiences that are forming the backbone of what uh, Sage calls Innovation Academy. And uh, the colleagues know that after seeing the effect the the 10x training has and the dojos that we organize, you know, I honestly come to believe that it's a privilege to support colleagues on their innovation journeys and take part in creating what can only be called a massive impact. You know, it's something that comes from all of us being aligned around innovation as a business need. Uh, we want to be the most customer-centric company. We want to continue knocking down barriers. We want to help businesses flow. And to do that, we have to do our best to, um, to move the needle. That is what my manager actually said this morning. And it's a, it's a really good connotation. And uh, yeah, it's such a pleasure to work day in and day out with so many fantastic people that are part of not just a continuous innovation team, but the community in general. And that is how Innovation Academy was actually shaped. Well, let me ask you what could be a deceptively simple, but I know complex question. And that is, what is innovation in your mind? Well, for me, innovation is exactly, you know, what I said in the beginning, it's your ability to adapt, to, um, you know, leave out the old ways of doing things, trying to unlearn what you thought was working so that you can actually progress, so you can find uh, your new niche or something new that you can produce and uh, help out, whether it's in the market, whether it's something you do for yourself, it's always moving uh, and, you know, uh, choosing the right direction, hopefully. And sometimes that unlearning is even harder than learning, isn't it? That's, that's so true. That's so true. And I think we, we touched upon that topic on, on our last Continuous Innovation Day. Um, you know, when, when you want to be human-centric and you're trying to simplify at the same time, it's, it's such, a, such a big commitment for a company Sage has thousands of employees, millions of customers, probably uh, all, everybody who is going to listen to this podcast already knows that. But I think that company like Sage does a great job of leading by example. I joined a company four months ago to this day. So it was August the 1st. And um, it was clear to me that, you know, from day one, I will have a great support system. I will be provided with the right tools and training so I can, again, learn and unlearn. And then on top of that, I was empowered to try things out, to take risks, uh, to see how I can contribute in fulfilling that common purpose. Um, and that is how Be Innovative as a training came to be. Like it was the first project I got to I got to work on. Can you give me an example of something that you have unlearned? 
Oh my God, there are so there are so many uh, examples. Actually, uh, I constantly uh, unlearn how to do things. For example, every time I join a new project or a new team, uh, there seems to be you know like this overwhelming feeling that you can contribute by you know what you what you have as an expertise or or a way of doing things, but then at the same time. Uh, you need to see what others have been doing, how they approached a subject or how they handled the problems. And then you pick all the little tips and tricks uh, that you can get and you improve, you grow and uh, you get to do things differently. And as you know, Yelena, we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, and that is, who is a hero of yours and why are they a hero? I've been thinking about this one as I've listened to some of the previous podcasts um, with the risk of sounding somewhat cheesy. And I know that it will probably sound that I'm very homesick just in time for the holidays. Uh, I'm going to say my parents. Um, Knowing what I know now and trying as an adult to see the world from their perspective, I mean, they were they were the original innovators, bringing up two kids in the 90s in a country that soon ceased to exist. It was the best lesson in creativity and making something out of nothing. Like I now realize how quick they were to adapt and find new ways of making our lives um, at least a bit better every day. And that was their whole, whole purpose. And actually, I'm so glad that You know, now as part of SAGE, I'm encouraged to be bold and do the right thing. And I remember one month after I moved to London, I was talking to my parents and I was explaining for the very first time what SAGE does or what values the company promotes. And it made me so happy that I could see it was uh, something that can they can relate to and they could really understand that and be proud of me for being a part of that vision. So that was that was massive. And lastly, Yelena, how can somebody contact you? Well, all Sage colleagues can ping me on Teams, uh, send me an email if they have any questions or maybe just want to catch up. Uh, I usually stop by the London Bridge office. So if anybody wants to discuss anything or a cup of coffee, I'm there. And for everybody else, um, LinkedIn is always a good way to reach out. All right. Yelena Saranovic, thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast. Thank you so much, Ed, for having me. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.